Okay, YouTubers, Facebookers, this is what's going on. 6 amp battery charger and a 3 stage die hard 2, 12, and 75 amp. Now when you run 75 amp on this, it jumps up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It doesn't like charging more than one battery at a time. And that battery has to be charged in order to do the 75. So, kind of useless as a jump starter at 75 amps when it won't jump start in a battery that's got a low voltage. I run it on 12, it gets warm, it kicks off. Two minutes later, it kicks back on. And it charges for about three, four, five minutes, and it kicks off. If I put it on 2 amp, it runs just fine. The one I have here are my six batteries. I balanced them all, but they've all worn down. We've had a week of solid clouds and rain plus a week plus and they're just weak batteries anyways they're used they're not new so that happens I got some small jumpers in there and with the bigger ones so that don't help the balance of the batteries all that well I don't need a huge cable to run into the cabin like I said I'm not running that big of a load I got a few lights and a little TV and in a small fan to circulate air in there and a, hot or cold day with the heat it keeps everything you know balanced in the temperature in there but as you can see I'm getting some corrosion and crap on them it's moist out plus their batteries you got electrolysis power flows through two different types of metal the electrons are swapped and corrosion is the result so what I'm gonna do is I got two newer batteries they are both that one's 13 volts that one's 12.9. They're going to go in and be hooked to the solar and the 6 amp charger. These over here are going to be hooked to this little 1.5 watt solar, which I don't know if that panel is even working. I don't remember seeing the. It has a little LED light on it, flashes when it's putting out power and it hasn't been flashing, it's been clear. So I don't know if that one's working or not or if the LED just went out. Gotta get my voltmeter on it and find out, but it's gonna still gonna be hooked to this. So at night, when I want to make sure my batteries are all charged, because I'm gonna be running two and they're used, so they don't hold the power as good, I turn on my charger at night. I'll be able to see what kind of power is in my two batteries on this one. These batteries I will hit with the meter every day, probably once in the morning, once at night. Uh, like I said, they will only be charged by this one at night for an hour to two hours. And I'm going to do that every night and check them every day, every night. They're not going to be feeding anything. They're just going to be sitting there getting a free charge. When they're sufficiently charged, 13, 5, whatever, uh, then I'll switch over to them and switch to solar over. And then I will switch to two batteries over to this one. And I'll check that until it's full charge, and then I'll switch back. Instead of, you know, running a million freaking batteries and not getting even charge, I'll run small batteries and keep an even charge, keep it floating, keep it going. And then I'll switch to the big ones while the two small ones refill, so to speak. So I'll be switching battery banks back and forth. Why the big one? Because it's already wired. I don't want to fuck with it. It's much simpler just to hook up two of them. I got two large jumpers right here large jumper cable it's that's heavy it's heavy heavy cable so there shouldn't be any problem with balancing those two so let me pause this and uh, get some stuff hooked up and I'll come back okay I'm back I don't know how it switched on the phone but anyway I'm gonna pull all these uh, caps off, check the electrolytes, and uh, this one's going to be a little more difficult, it's under this plate and somehow I've got to pry this plate off, so i got two screwdrivers, so I will get that plate pried off and then I'll check them and that will also be, um, be on the same video, so I'm going to pause this while I do that. Okay, i got all the caps off, and as you can see, if you see down there or not, that little reflection in there that's the, that's the fluid 
electrolyte and they're all low they're just above the plates and you can't see no white crust on the plate so they're not phosphating so that means the battery's in really good shape as far as I know um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up and it is not up to the cap you fill it up there's a there's a a spot in there you can't see in camera but or the where this opening goes down inside there's a, a plate in there it goes down about that far up from the from the top if you fill up towards just touching that that should be full and it won't be too much electrolyte uh, too much water in your electrolyte to weaken it so if you fill it up to the caps then uh yeah, it's not good. You're overfull and you're weakened your electrolyte. But if you're real careful, just fill them up to the bottom of that plastic. That should be full. Um, because there's a little slot you can see in the little tube that goes down. That's your vent. Allow it to vent the gases out. So you don't want to plug that off because otherwise you'll be pushing electrolyte right out of your battery and corroding everything in your box. So you got to be careful how much you put in it. Just, you know, a little... These ones are, you need about a half an inch and then they'll be full. Alright, I spilled a little water pouring out of the thing, but yeah, they're up to just at the bottom of the, the plastic cover plate. The vent holes are open, they're pretty even, so it should charge evenly. I didn't need a whole lot of um, water, so these batteries are probably in pretty good shape. Um, now I'll get them on there, check the voltage again, and start them charging.